Hi, I'm Judith Schechter. I was also a colleague of Roy's. I have a piece to read that he wrote, but before I do, I, I just would like to share, first of all, what people are saying is so wonderful. It's so really, really nice to hear what people have to say. And his joie de vivre and enthusiasm for making was just fantastic, and it's really nice to have a chance to see all the work. It's really fantastic. I was a fan before I even met him. Anyway, he had written this piece, which he shared with the craft department and I think with his students. I had asked him for it because I wanted to read it to students on my own. It's a brief history of craft, and I always loved it because it was funny, brief, and presumably very true. Prologue. In an effort to understand more about the history of our field, craft, and to discover just how far back it really goes, I consulted the ultimate authority, the Venus of Willendorf, the magnificent ghost of craft past. She took me on a tour that began in a cave circa 2001 BC. That's before craft. I took notes of what transpired and wrote the following play, which reiterates the conversation verbatim and exactly as it took place. I shall narrate and play all the roles myself. <laughs> the Clan of the Cave Crafts, or A Two-Minute History of Craft as We Know It, being a melodrama in two short acts and an extremely abbreviated history of craft that cuts directly to the good parts, but in its brevity spares no detail. Act 1, Scene 1, A Cave. Present are Og, the hunter-gatherer, Aga, his significant other, and Ogly, their child. <laughs> Aga, me tired of sitting on rock, rock hard. Ah, me finish. He exits the cave. Ogly, me got whiff. He follows Og out of the cave. Scene two, two hours later. Og returns carrying a log with a little ugly dangling from one end. Og proudly drops the log on the floor of the cave. Sir. So, thus is born the first craftsman and the first functional object. Scene three, the next day, Aga, sitting on her log. Still too hard. <laughs> Og, too hard, Papa. Og emits an expletive grunt and exits the cave. Scene four, three hours later. Og returns bloody and scarred, but with a fresh bear skin, which he throws over the log. Sit now. Thus is born the first upholstered functional object. <laughs> Scene five, three days later. Aga sitting on her newly upholstered log. Now everybody in clan wants furry log like mine. Og, me make. Ogly, me help. Aga, me sell, me collect clans. <clears throat> Thus is born the first entrepreneur, the first apprentice, and the first business manager. Act two, one moon later. The rest of the clan is lined up outside of the cave waiting for their upholstered logs. Og, now a huge success, is busily putting pelts on logs and is wearing a pair of Italian handmade sandals. <laughs> Aga is sitting on her log, counting a huge pile of clamps. Aga, now everyone will have bear chair just like mine. Want more special? Og, his eyeballs rolling upward. Me fix. He reaches into his three-piece loincloth and takes out a sharpened stone with which he proceeds to carve an image of a woolly mammoth on Aga's log. Now special, Aga dreamily. Oh, Og. <laughs> the lights fade, the curtain falls. As a result of Aga's gratitude, the size of Og's family was doubled. Thus began the history of the decorative arts. Ogly and his new sibling, more Ogly, eventually <laughs> took over the family craft business. Several moons later, they had a disagreement concerning the division of labor and chores. Ogly moved out of the cave and started selling his upholstered logs in a tent. Thus was born the first craft fair. <laughs> Meanwhile, more Ogly continued to take orders from inside the cave and paid only half to Ogly, who was getting tired of camping out. Thus began the first craft gallery. Eventually, they were reunited, called their business Oglyware, and added more caves. The business was handed down from generation to generation to generation to generation, etc., 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 thus creating the first craft dynasty. 
Even though Augenware is now made in China, the handmade, one-of-a-kind studio furniture created by their descendants may still be seen in every major archaeology museum throughout the world. The end. <laughs>